Ready to transform your space? Here are seven practical homemaking tips that you can start today to have a more organized and peaceful home. Be sure to create a morning routine. Having a morning routine will help us to not feel overwhelmed from the moment we wake up because we will know the order of things that we get to do and have a system set up to get us started on the right foot. Start each day with a structured routine that helps us to set a positive tone for the rest of the day. Be sure to also include in there some downtime for yourself as we cannot pour from an empty cup. A simple routine helps us to feel a sense of accomplishment and helps to prepare us for the tasks ahead. Another thing I invite you to incorporate into your homemaking today is meal planning. Meal planning not only helps to save a bunch of money, but it can also help to reduce food waste. If you have no idea where to start, then I recommend checking out the website Supercook as you can start inputting everything you have in your home and it will generate thousands of recipes that you can create and use those as a meal plan as well. This will also super help us to save money because we're starting to meal plan from the things we have in our home already. A friend of mine recently told me about something called shelf timber, and I think it is absolutely awesome. It basically entails us cooking the things in our homes to make rooms in our pantries, fridge, and freezers for the upcoming holiday meals. This is super duper brilliant, and if you wanna try it out for yourself, then start with the Supercook app and or website, as this will help you to navigate and do just that. I just wanted to jump in here and say really quick that in the event that these are too many recipes and you find it overwhelming, you can also choose a key ingredients or on the opposite end, if you think it's not enough for you, maybe you meal plan by the month or the year, then you can just focus on a couple of key ingredients. Or if you have any dietary restrictions or a preferred food, you can choose all of that here. I absolutely love this app and website. So if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments down below and I will answer all of your questions. I also had to speed up the video, but if you want a video on this app and how I use it to meal plan for my family, then please let me know. I would absolutely love to do one for you. This also helps to save time because if we do find ourselves at the supermarket, we will be most likely in and out due to having most of the things. An additional pro tip, if you're able to, consider online pickup because when you do online pickup, if there is a fee, it's a very minimal one and we don't run into the risk of overspending by seeing things in the aisles that look yummy or fun to have. If your home decor ever starts to feel a little bit stale, then try to rotate it for a fresh feeling environment. If you have some seasonal decor, be sure to switch it out throughout the year so give your home a more fun and inviting feeling. However, if you're more of a minimalist, then be sure to switch these decor pieces throughout the rooms. It gives a similar effect, helps to keep the room exciting, but you're not spending money or needing space to store the rest of the decor. Another thing you can start doing in your homemaking today is decluttering a little bit each day. Set a 10 to 15 minute timer and pick a room in your home and focus on decluttering just that. You'd be surprised at how big of an impact 10 to 15 minutes can make into each space. That is how I started before when we couldn't even see my floors. And well, the rest is history. So be sure that you incorporate a daily declutter every single day. And even if you think you have no clutter, then maybe once a week or once a month, go around the rooms in your home and just make sure that nothing is sneaking back in there. Be sure that you're implementing a cleaning schedule into your homemaking. That way, every single area in our homes gets to be cleaned at least weekly, monthly, quarterly, whatever feels right for you. Whenever you have a cleaning plan, we're not letting things fall through the cracks and it is super amazing how much less overwhelmed we will feel because we know everything has a day or a week or a month to be worked on. Be sure to be creating different zones into your home, such as a relaxation zone, a work zone, creativity zone, etc. This will help to create a sense of balance between our personal life and our homemaking life. It is equally important to unplug and unwind. However, I find it a little bit difficult to do as I do work in my home. So once I hang that apron up, I go ahead and settle into my relaxation zone. This also helps to make it so we're not overwhelmed by multitasking everywhere. Not to mention, it keeps the clutter that we use in that area into that particular zone, making it much more easier to clean up when we're all set. Simplify your space by practicing minimalism. Minimalism can help us with overwhelm and clutter and stress and pretty much 
anything. When we practice minimalism, we have less things to manage, less things to clean, less things to break, less things to stress about. Consider practicing minimalism and you'll be surprised at what a much more simple and stress-free life we could have if we don't have to worry about a bunch of stuff all of the time. Not only that, we will spend a lot less time cleaning and organizing. And have you ever noticed that the less things that is in a space, the more deeply we feel like we can breathe and the more relaxed and peaceful we feel? We can have all of these benefits all of the time if we try to practice minimalism. And if it's not for you, then guess what? You can always put all of your stuff back. But if you want even more practical homemaking tips, then check out this video here. And if you need help making your own cleaning schedule, then check out this video here. And I'll see you there right now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, to God be the glory. Bye.